Hello and welcome to the UK's Changing Landscapes topic. This is the very first session which is found on Paper 1, Topic 1. So, um, to begin with, we're going to start by looking at the UK's physical landscape. Now this is the very first of three sections that you'll need to study with regards to this particular topic. Um, and there are three kind of sections on the exam paper. The first one we're going to deal with in the first three or four lessons. Um, of these recordings. The uh, second section is going to be looking at the coastal landscapes of the UK and the third section is going to be looking at the river landscapes of the UK. There is in the paper a section on glaciated landscapes of the UK but we only have to give you two of the three um, and we've chosen the two that really have a lot of crossover to save you um, some time with regards to revision. So this is the very first section um, and we're going to really look today at geology. Uh, and geology is the name we give to the different types of rock um, and the study of those different types of rocks that you can find around the world. Now you may have done stuff about geology and science and you can certainly use that knowledge um, to really help support you in this first sort of stage of this topic. So get the title written, written down of the learning objective and then we'll crack straight on. Okay, so um, obviously you can see uh, how old this PowerPoint is from the uh, kit, which at the time I made it was a recent Norwich City kit. Um, and what you can see is underneath that kit, let's just slowly reveal, okay, um, is a very colourful map. In fact, it would look not look out of place in like a pop art gallery, um, and it would look really nice framed. And, and this is a geology map of the UK. And what this map shows us is if you stripped away all of the trees and the soil and the buildings and everything that was on the UK surface and you stripped it right down to its bedrock this is the rock that you would see in each place around the UK now it wouldn't be this color it wouldn't be you know pink or blue or green or whatever it is um, but they've used the color coding just so you can see where the different rock types stop now the first thing I'm going to say is that this is just the surface layer of rocks and geology is often far more complicated than this. So you strip away the surface rock, you could find hundreds of layers of different types of rock built up over the millions and billions of years um, that the Earth existed. Um, but you don't need to know it to that level of depth, which is really good and really handy for you. Now, one thing you probably already know, but if you're not sure, we're going to get the information down about it already, um, or now, sorry, is the three main categories of rock type. You've got igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks and what you need to do as your first task is pause the screen and write down with those subheadings nicely underlined what igneous rocks are what sedimentary rocks are and what metamorphic rocks are um, when you've written all that down then we'll get onto the main task for the session I, I reckon it'll take you about five to ten minutes to write all those notes down properly don't uh, skimp on them write them in full please um, and make sure you've got um, all the headings written down too when you're ready you can unpause the screen Okay, so if you've got onto 365 um, and looked at these resources, you should see that there is a resource where you can have your very own version of this colour, um, you know, colourful geology map of the UK. Um, and alongside that, or on the back of it, depending on how you've used it, is also a table which I want you to use to um, create um, an overview of some really detailed information about specific rock types. Now you've got the general overview of igneous metamorphic sedimentary rocks and you've got a kind of a definition of them in general, you need to know some specific examples of each type of rock. So for example chalk and limestone and sandstone are all examples of sedimentary rocks. Um, granite and basalt are both examples of igneous rocks. Um, schist is an example of a metamorphic rock. So you need to have some specific examples of these types of rock in case you're asked about them. Um, now, you're going to do that through completing this table. What you will find, again on 365, is three pages of information. Um, one of them is for igneous rocks, one of them is for sedimentary, one of them is for metamorphic. And you've also got a table, which is on the same document as you've got your colourful Geology UK map. Now, what I would like you to do um, is for each of the different categories, okay, igneous rocks, you know, granite, you can see there is an information page. So here's granite, this is what some granite can look like. The first thing I want you to do is work out its approximate age, and you're going to get that information from the geology map. Now granite, okay, which is the darker pink colour, you'll find it sort of scattered in um, uh, the northern parts of the United Kingdom, northern uh, Ireland, and actually some little patches down in the southwest um, of England as well, down at Exmoor and Dartmoor. 
um, it will say nothing about the age there, but they are the oldest rocks. You've got that definition written down. So you know they're at least older than 600 million years, which is the oldest sedimentary rock. So you can just write in here 600 plus million years. Okay. Then how it was formed and its characteristics, you're going to get from this information sheet. Okay. Now what I've done for characteristics, I've basically underlined things that are really useful information. So characteristics of granite is that it's very resistant. Not just resistant, very resistant. Okay. Um, it contains crystals. Um, it uh, is hard wearing and decorative. Um, it's impermeable, doesn't let water through. They're the kind of key bullet points you need to put for characteristics. The other underlined sections tell you about how granite is formed. So granite is formed deep under the surface of the earth in molten rock called magma when it's slowly cooled over time. Those are the key things that you need to be putting in how granite is formed. Then the location, you can come back to your geology map and you can spot where are these dark pink areas and, and try and be as comprehensive as possible. Okay. Now you can do that with every single one of these different specific rock types. You've got two igneous rocks, you've got two sedimentary rocks, I think the information gives you four but you only need two, um, and two metamorphic rock examples as well. So use this to age them and to locate them. Use this to write the information about how it was formed and its characteristics. Now why is all this important? Well it's got a lot of importance because every single paper that's existed from this particular topic so far has started asking questions very specifically not they're not worth lots but they are every single time so far about different rock types so the first question might give you four options and say which is an igneous rock or it might say which is a sedimentary rock or so it might say oh you know granite chalk sandstone slate which one of these is a metamorphic rock if you don't know the answer is slate you won't get the mark um, so I almost guarantee that they will ask you specific questions about rock types. Sometimes the question is worth two marks and that is when it maybe says explain how basalt is formed. Now that's a bit more tricky as a question but that's why you're writing it down in here because they could ask you literally about any one of these different rock types. They could ask you about how it was formed. They could ask you to name or list some characteristics but the hardest questions you might get on this, and this has appeared, is they might give you a UK geology map without the key. And they might just say, right, OK, they might highlight maybe this strip of green. And they might say, this is rock X. What is rock X? And they won't give you a key. You won't be able to look at it up. Or look it up. You have to know. So you need to know specifically that rock X is chalk just from a, a map where you've got the colours. Now I know that sounds really tricky, you're not going to need to know every single different rock type, okay, but just getting an awareness of where most of the sedimentary rocks are, where the igneous rocks might be found, okay, and having a, a vague idea at least is useful. Now again that was only worth one mark in the exam, but it's a mark that a lot of people will get, so you don't want to lose it. So the first one, two, even three marks for your um, first kind of topic on the first paper are going to be asking you about geology and this information that you're doing now will give you basically two or three marks straight away in that first test of the first topic if you want to get confidence and and, and you know a good few marks under your belt this is the very first thing you should be revising okay because I promise you sort of it will appear now that should take you the remainder of this lesson it might not take you that long but I did say I was going to ease in very slowly and um, so get that over and done with all the resources on 365, as I mentioned, in the Jog Vlogs folder. Uh, thank you for listening, and I will see you next time for lesson two.